And uh, JD's here. Good morning, he's, sir. He's officially here. Yes, fresh as a daisy. <laughs> J- JD, yes. what I wanted to talk about yes. um, sort of follows on from yesterday. Yeah. On the uh, We Don't Know show, mm-hmm. um, I, I tried to get John to talk about what he can remember about when dig- well, analog cameras were thought very well of mm-hmm. and digital cameras were sort of coming along but weren't quite right. Partly they, they lacked some features. Partly the good features were quite expensive and rare. And partly people were just, just liked analog cameras anyway. Mm-hmm. And I, I sort of got into this as a, as a play. I'm, I'm going to go to Kendall. The, there's a comics festival, which actually starts tomorrow. But it's, the main one is Chris is here. Well, I think, well, I think you should let him in. I'll, I'll rave on. Will you open up the door, J.D.? Mm. He's just behind you. You Really? You should let him in. Really? I'll just explain to the audience, because you might have heard this already. <laughs> um, is, is this against the law to let him in? No, no. no it's all right. Th- he, shouldn't, okay. he shouldn't be here for another 20 minutes. No, he's, 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 b- he's waving at the door. I don't know. Who so is. you should let him in. Yes, what I'm, what I'm thinking about <laughs> is, is how straightforward now let him in JD and oh, I'll, okay. I'll explain because I've sort of explained okay, this off right, air okay, right. no this is what a no, shambolic no, what a shambolic radio yeah, show this is no do <laughs> let him in <laughs> okay, let okay. him in because we'll only have to say it all <laughs> again no, 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 let's look at these this is this is Chris, Chris, Chris what really sort of time do you call this? Yeah, we're in the middle yeah. of s- setting up our conversation, oh, so you're very know. welcome to come in. Oh. But we're just starting our conversation, and you can join in if you like. You in here, oh, you go. Go. I don't know. So, so, Chris, listen. Yeah. In summary, the question is how direct should we be? Um, should we set up complex plays and abstract ways of presenting controversy or should we get straight to the point and say this is the issue and what we think is a b and c you can be directed you like but you might get a punch in the face <laughs> oh okay <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's a good one. Right, so is that well, your that, motto? But, uh, even even over the airwaves, you think? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we've sh- we're quite sa- we're in the, we're in a basement, an undisclosed basement behind secure doors, as you've just discovered. We could probably be in shock jock mode for a while before the angry citizens of Exeter found us. Before Do you think? the angry mob found us. <laughs> angry. <laughs> well, no, it's not. As ba- it's not as bad as that. What it was? Well, uh, uh, look, Chris, uh, we're doing everything in the wrong order, but that doesn't matter. It can be edited later. Do you remember cameras that were not digital cameras? They had little bits of film in you them mean on a roll. Thirty-five mil film. Thirty-five mil film. Yes. And you could only take twenty-four or twenty-six photos. Or 38 before the film ran out. That's the one. Uh, yeah, I remember them. That bygone era. Well, when I said to John yesterday, did he remember it and when was it? Because this is... You see, I, I don't think the actual facts... We probably could look up somewhere. I looked up in the Wikipedia and it said the digital camera was invented by Kodak in 1975. It so, was. Well, what were Kodak doing with it? Having invented it, they patented it and sat on it oh. till about ninety-nine, and then they were too late to release it. Ah. Oh. So yeah, what you found out is true. So, would it be right to say it would be during the nineteen nineties that this was all a controversy? Um, People were saying this will never work and it won't do this and it won't do that and that sort of thing. It was the 80s and the 90s saying it will never work. I remember digital cameras came around in the early 2000s. So you reckon in the t- it was in the 2000s that it became popular? Yeah. But all the debate amongst professional photographers would be in the 90, 80s and 90s. I guess so. Well, one of the things they said was that people would take too many photographs and not think about it very much. 
Uh, which is quite true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, hang, hang on a minute. Smile, Stop. smile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take one with my camera. He's yeah. taking yeah. another one. Like, yeah. Yeah, go, I'll You'll probably have about 20 or 30 by the <laughs> end of this show. <laughs> Some of which will appear on Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned to your <laughs> Facebook page for The Wild Show. And a lot of gratuitous, silly photographs will probably turn up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, anyway... We'll, we'll put them off on Wild Show, yeah. OK, so, so look, what I thought was... Um, Ke- Kendall, who, apart from doing the comics, they, they're trying to upgrade the art centre, the brewery art centre, which is not the same as the Phoenix, but we can imagine it as something similar, possibly. Except I think the Phoenix has already gone quite digital. Yeah. But... I wonder what kind of conversations they're having. And also, the tomorrow, Friday, there's an academic sort of day. Uh, several different universities are going to be there. So I think there's the sort of idea, do you... Well, it, to, my, to my mind, it raises the question, do you need a campus and a fixed set of buildings? Or can you just have a talk anywhere? Not that the Brewery Arts Centre or Kendall is just anywhere, but... What I'm t- trying to get at is the idea of the, the, the campus and the learning being distributed. And I thought one way of doing that would be a historical drama about uh, digital cameras coming in. And I just don't know when to set it. Because whenever it was, different people have got their own memory of when it was. Or for people like John, who, who were born since 1980... Since 1990? I'm not sure... Whenever, well, lots of people have been born in this century, haven't they? And if you said to them, could you get 24 or 26, and was it a bit of a risk taking the last two? They wouldn't know what you were talking about. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Risky taking the last two. Well, they might fall off the end of the bit of film, because you say, perhaps you can get... When you introduced it, you said you could get 24 pictures or 26 pictures. Yeah, and you had 12. You had 12 films as well. OK. So you would have just stuck to taking 12? No. That, in that case, no. I was pretty much 24. OK. No, I worked out how you could get free films. Well, that is pretty good. Anyway, look, I think I've got to move move along because you'll want to start your main section of the show about 12 minutes' time. I've got another track to fit in. So what I'm going to say is, um, John says I'm too vague, not clear enough what I actually think. What I actually think is the digital disruption of learning has got to a similar sort of point to where the digital camera or the analogue camera was... Oh, 98, let's say, 98 or 99, I don't know quite when. But would that be a better way of putting it, to say um, it, it seems slightly crazy for the universities to be spending millions, of tens of millions, on new buildings on their campus when they could be spending on a digital platform? So that if I put it as clearly as that, was that clearly put? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. It's time. It's time to do away with having to sit in the classroom and in front of the teacher, and the teacher turns around for the blackboard, and the blackboard rolls up and down. <laughs> I remember it well, and it's uh, those sort of memories you just don't want to, you know, relive. But if you had a, a way which you can continue with it, and the digital age would be able to because we. we 90% of us have got some sort of digital th- apparatus on you know, on our bodies now um, so therefore we, we, we can communicate through that machine much some quicker of, Some of the paper digital apparatus ourselves Well that's true, that's true You don't have to go into all this And Chris. someone has <laughs> said uh, can I can well, I just just open the door because I know what he's trying to do. He's and trying, to, he's the trying, he's trying to confuse things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all, all, all we all we need know is that a lot of people have access to some sort of digital yeah, yeah. They at do. this time. We'll just put it like that. Um, I'll play I'll play one more track and then I'll come back to another question, and then then it will be 
Chris Norton officially Yay. with the basic wild show, which is mostly music. That's it's what we need to get on to. Basic at all. Well, it's not. It's no. It's essential. Sorry, it's essential. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, the yeah. word. Chris, I've is, got, Chris is not basic. But I've had two search <laughs> results on Jimmy Mac, and uh, this is uh, this is another Jimmy Lee. Sorry, I'm getting so confused. Let me concentrate. <laughs> this is this is from the CD called Jimmy Lee, uh, by Rafael Sadiq. <laughs> 